Hello, my reading friends. It's Ani, and today I'm not at my house. I'm visiting some of my grandchildren, and I'm so excited for you to meet them. Let's introduce them right now. What's your name? Callie. Callie, and how old are you? Two. Two. And how are you? How old are you going to be pretty soon? Um, three. Three. She's having a birthday in two weeks. And what about you? You might remember this guy from Pingo. Do you want to reintroduce yourself to our friends? Yep. Okay. My name is Blake. And how old are you now, Blake? I'm seven years old. Seven? He was younger when we did Pingo. He's grown up a bit. Okay, Blake, tell him what book we're going to read today. I'm not just a scribble. And if you have your own copy, what should they do, Kevin? Go get it. Go get it. So you can... Read a lot! Not Just a Scribble, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. This is a story about Scribble, whose lines would cross and wiggle. Tiny loops would start him small. Bigger swirls would make him tall. He could be shades of green or baby blue, even crazy colors. He loved them too. Choosing bright colors made him feel free. You never knew which one he would be. Then one day, Scribble took a short walk, where he found a house and stopped to talk. Hello, said Scribble. It's such a great day. I thought I'd come over and we could all play. The house never saw anything like Scribble before, but he was curious enough to find out a bit more. So, even though he was grumpy and didn't want to play, he still managed to grunt, What are you, anyway? Scribble was confused and didn't know what to say. So he said to the house, I'm just a scribble. Is that okay? It's not okay, said the house. You don't look right. Your lines aren't straight and your colors are too bright. But color is fun, Scribble said. I can show you why. Just give me a chance. Please, let me try. No, said the house. You cannot stay. You're nothing like me. Now go away. Hearing those words made Scribble so sad. A tear ran down his face. He felt really bad. But I won't be upset, he proclaimed that day. So he changed his colors and went on his way. He continued his walk and soon found the sun. Along with the clouds, they could all have some fun. But the sun saw him coming and told him to stop. Your lines are too messy and we don't have a mop. Turn around, little scribble, he went on to say. Go back to your home. Please, just go away. But you're not being nice, Scribble shouted, quite mad. The fact that I'm different doesn't make me so bad. My colors are special, and my lines are just fine. If you give me a chance, we could have a great time. Should we ask him to play? They huddled to discuss. It's more fun with friends. It's usually just us. And although they were worried this wouldn't work out, being mean to Scribble wasn't what they were about. Scribble was surprised at what he saw the next day. All the drawings were there and they wanted to play. Even Rainbow showed up and he never came by. He was standing right there near the sun in the sky. We're so sorry, said the clouds as they held back their tears. Please come play, said the house. We haven't had fun in years. I forgive you, Scribble shouted as he did a happy dance. They were so grateful he gave them another chance. Scribble gathered up his colors and played with everyone. Blue, purple, green, and yellow. It was all so much fun. Look what they created when they finally came together. 
The art was so beautiful, and it was better than ever. It was so much fun for me to be able to introduce you to a couple more of my grandkids. I just love when they help me with my stories. And in today's book, I was glad that the house, sun, and clouds learned not to judge Scribble by the way he looked. Once they accepted him as their friend, they were able to create beautiful works of art together. It's a great lesson for all of us to remember. Okay, let's do some shout outs. Today they're going out to Ezra and Julian in Calabasas, California, Camilla and Liam in New Jersey, Matilda and Harry in Vancouver, Canada, CJ in the Philippines, Cecilia, Emmett, and Genevieve in St. Louis, Missouri, Jack in Queensland, Australia, Aiden, Landon, and Riley in Pennsylvania, Clara in Gilbert, Arizona, Haley Elizabeth in Denton, Texas, as well as Adelaide and Oliver in Canada. Hello to you all. I just love our great big international reading family. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.